As part of the ongoing trading program with BBC Media Action, which will help Algerian broadcasters and particularly radio journalists in their transition to public service broadcaster, we invited Wendy Pelmer, former senior executive at three national BBC radio stations, including network manager for BBC Radio 4. Wendy, welcome to our program and welcome to Algeria. Thank you very much. You've worked at senior level in uh, three of the BBC's national radio stations. Tell us more about your experience at the BBC. Well, I had a very unusual experience at the BBC. At the BBC, people tend to specialise very early, and so you become a drama producer or a documentaries producer or a music producer, and you stay in that line. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's almost as if you would come and work for Chantois forever. And my experience here, at, my experience at the BBC, was that uh, I started as a researcher. I then went to music radio, and I was head of specialist music at Radio One. And then I went to work in uh, in news, uh, information, and then I went uh, to work um, at Radio mm -hmm. Four, which specialises in drama and comedy and all sorts of things. And it's very unusual for someone to move sideways across all of the radio networks, but that's simply because I love radio in all its different forms. Well, in 2002, you were appointed head of BBC North East and uh, Cumbria, leading a 250-strong team and managing television news, current affairs and three radio stations. Was it easy to have a 250-strong team under your command? No, not at all. And it wasn't easy to work in television either. When mm -hmm. you work in radio, you get very used to just talking to a listener and having very small teams. And you can come up with an idea in the morning and have it on air by the evening. When you're with television, you can't do anything unless you've got a camera crew um, and you've got resources at your disposal. And uh, that, uh, that's very frustrating, I found, from a radio perspective. I think things are changing now because people have access to smaller uh, cameras these days and iPhones and things, so um, exactly. it's more flexible than it was. But, you know, 10 years ago it wasn't that fe flexible. And I think the other thing is it's very hard. Um, you can have a brilliant vision of your own, but when you have to communicate your vision through other people uh, mm -hmm. and you can't communicate individually with 250 people, then exactly. that's very difficult. Uh, well, you've been a Sony award-winning producer at BBC Radio 1 and BBC4. Tell us more about that. Uh, I've won uh, awards that in... That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I've won awards in different areas. So uh, I won an award f um, on the history of South African music Great. through the years of apartheid, which was really good. So that was Best Popular Music Program. And then when I went to um, the News Channel, uh, I relaunched the sound of the News Channel and I won a, an award for the habillage, the branding of the, um, the channel. Mm -hmm. And then I've won awards for documentaries as well. So um, they're okay. all really different types of um, awards, which has been was great it, fun. Was it in the same year? No, different years, different okay, years. Yeah, so it was in... Goodness me, it must have been sort of 10 years, 12 years, 13 years. But then mm. since I've become a manager, it's very hard to win awards, you know, for management. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, in 2008, you opened up your own business. Yes. Well, providing advice and training to the radio industry. What did you choose to run your own business? Why did you choose that? Well, having had this strange BBC career where I'd moved sideways across the different radio stations, I stopped and then thought, well, what do I do next? And I realised there was no other job I wanted to do in the BBC. Um, I hadn't done jobs for reasons of hierarchy. I'd done them for reasons of interest. And I'd run out of jobs that interested me. And so I thought, um, actually, I would like to have some adventures. And so I decided that I just wanted to talk about radio. Um, and so I resigned from the BBC, set up my own business. And now I work with um, radio presenters and producers all over the world. Um, and I learn from them as much as they learn from me. Algeria is definitely in need of your know-how. How could Algerian journalists and producers benefit from your own experience? Uh, I would say that the, the main thing that I've held on to over the years is simply that um, audiences, listeners, should be at the heart of everything we do. And that's what was always drummed into me at the BBC. And I think that's probably the most useful message I can remind people of in Algeria. Um, but this is my ninth visit to Algeria, and I absolutely love it. And I'm, I wouldn't be arrogant enough to come with a set of rules in my suitcase. Um, but I think if you listen to the people and respond to their needs, that's the most useful message I can bring. A media bill passed in late 2011 aimed at uh, uh, opening the TV and radio sectors in Algeria to private operators. What would be the impact of this transition from state 
to private. I think the impact, potential impact on uh, Algerian radio could be enormous, actually. Um, so commercial competition, the biggest, you know, what people think commercial competition will bring is it'll bring lots of loud music and lots of adverts and um, it'll be low quality. The thing I would just remind people of is that commercial operators, what we've seen around the world is that they can bring public service values as well. So that's the risk, I think, for Algerian radio, is that if it doesn't embrace public service values and continue to serve audiences really well, commercial competition might sneak up on the inside and overtake them. Exactly. What are the challenges of our radio broadcasters? I think you have um, much more complex challenges than mm. we have in the UK. The, um, the challenges around faiths and languages are really complex, uh, and I admire you the, the way you do that, and the, the regional differences across Algeria. So I think mm. you already have those challenges. And then you mm -hmm. have uh, the other challenges as well of potential competition too. Um, I think also you don't have um, audience research data, and that's, um, that's something I, I do think is really pa I'm passionate about, understanding your audience. And if you don't have such um, figures, then I think there is, uh, you have to be more proactive in going out to ask the listeners what they think of you. Well, Wendy, a last question. What is your advice for producers, journalists, to go ahead in their career? I would say keep an open mind and always put the listener first. Thank you very much. Wendy Palmer, former senior executive at three national BBC radio stations, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. One, two, three, viva l'Algerie. <laughs> <laughs>